Hello everyone. Today I'd like to show you the integration with Edibit ePrinters and RDS Logic. To enable the Edibit ePrinters, go to the Marketplace. And once there in the lower right hand corner, you'll be able to activate the Edibit ePrinters. Once activated, we'll be taken to the Edibit dashboard where we'll be prompted to purchase a printer or multiple printers. For this example, I'm going to purchase one printer um, with a $75 unit fee per printer and a $30 per printer monthly fee. And you can purchase as many printers as you would like. Uh, so let's go ahead and place an order. And what happens here is that you'll be invoiced for the particular printer or printers uh, and then you'll be communicated with um, with the process of acquiring your particular printer. Once it's shipped to you, uh, then you'll be able to enter it into the system. So the dashboard has uh, some interesting data for you guys to take a look at. You have the number of printers that you've purchased. Um, link printers are those that have been purchased and linked with RDS Logic software. The unlinked printers are purchased printers which have not yet been linked and unassigned printers are those printers uh, who are linked with RDS Logic but not assigned to a particular restaurant. So let's go ahead and link up uh, a printer. Let's say that you received it in the mail and you need to enter it into the system. Uh, what you'll want to do is just flip it over on the bottom and you should see a little code here and that's the code that you want to enter into RDS logic. Okay. So let's go ahead and enter that code. And then we're not going to assign it to a restaurant quite yet, but let's go ahead and uh, name it. I'll show you how to assign it via the restaurant maintenance. You could assign it here if you wanted to as well. Okay, once it's uh, linked with RDS Logic, we're able to pull some information from it. So we can see that it's available, it's online, the sound is turned down, uh, there's the light turned on, and uh, there's paper in the printer with a 30 minute fulfillment time. So the restaurant can increase or decrease this fulfillment time, um, and it will be updated in RDS Logic so you can get an accurate pickup time. Uh, for your drivers. So this is the time that it's taking the restaurant currently to prepare uh, the order. So if we go to restaurant maintenance we'll be able to see this in a different view. Okay we can see that there's no Edibit ePrinter assigned but let's go ahead and assign the Chimmy printer and we want to print the restaurant and the driver copy. So let's go ahead and save that. And let's go ahead and send an order to the printer. So let's go ahead and create one real quick. Okay. Payment. All right. So if we go out to the dispatch screen, I'll go ahead and show the printer here. We can see that we have uh, an order on the board. We want to send this to the restaurant, and we can see that the current uh, reported fulfillment time is 30 minutes which matches up with the fulfillment time on the printer and the pickup time is calculated from the current time plus the fulfillment time which gives you the driver pickup with a delivery at uh, 758. So let's go ahead and send this to the printer and you can see that we've got some communication status going on here. We can see that the order is sending uh, to the restaurant and the eat a bit status over here sending the order to the printer. So once it sends it to the printer uh, then it's downloaded and then it's ready to print. So once it's uh, ready to print we'll see a status update on here. 
and it just varies with the cell signal of the printer and also how big the particular order is. Okay, we can see that the printer has downloaded um, the order and is ready to print and you can see that um, on the dispatch screen the status is updated uh, that the order was downloaded and the EDABIT icon is printing waiting for someone at the restaurant to print the order. So a person at the restaurant would hit print Okay, and once that's printed, you can see that the order uh, has been updated and that the order is printed. And let me go ahead and show you the receipt. So this is a receipt with the restaurant and the driver copy. So we have it split where they can just easily uh, rip that in half and give it to the driver. All the necessary information is on there. And if we go back to the order, we can see uh, that it was confirmed by the Edabit printer. So we hope that you enjoy this feature, and thanks.